Apparently it's not that great. I don't know. <laughs> you say the word and we will pour. Is that even a thing? I don't give a crap. Yeah, definitely one thing we struggle with is uh, stopping the episode. How much um, do you think the yeast is involved with flavoring whiskey? Like, I think that's something that um, I feel like, you know, finishing has been overdone, if that makes sense. Finishing in certain casts, like it's like we finished in any every single cask you could ever imagine. And so I feel like that's been studied, like overstudied, if anything, um, and overhyped maybe even, but like... I think uh, an area that nobody really like talks a lot about, except for maybe some of the really like scientific, it, like, you know, the scientists um, around the whiskey industry is the yeast. And you mentioned earlier that Crown Royal is like developing their, like making their own yeast. So how they much develop- would that play into the, the blending? Yeah, I think it's huge. I think yeast contributes probably more than the grain to the flavor. Wow. Uh, it, uh, it's, it, it, yeah. And you can, I mean, well, I mean, you know this from wine, mm-hmm. the same grapes fermented with different yeasts give entirely different wines. They might even have yeah. a different name, yeah. but, but yeah, but, but yeah, uh, Seagram's went out and, and they, they had scientists do it, collect 200 yeast varieties for them to test and to try. And mm-hmm. from those, they developed, um, their own proprietary strains. A lot of the American whiskeys that used to be owned by Seagram still use specific um, yeasts that were developed, you know, by by uh, Sam Bronfman back in or by his team back in in, in the forties and fifties. Mm-hmm. This is big. Uh, people don't talk about yeast, but yeast has been done and done and done. And I mean, a company like Lalaman makes makes all kinds of different kinds of yeast. You know, uh, Collingwood, Collingwood whiskey, uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Canadian mist. They have their own, their own yeasts. They have a commercial yeast to, uh, maker make those yeasts, grow those yeasts for them. But mm-hmm. many of the many companies do. Now I know there are, you know, big factory distilleries that just buy yeast of the week. You know, they use Maori or something like that. Yeah. But um, but <clears throat> yeast is very important. And I think a lot of the small craft distillers, especially in the States, have really shown that, that yeast is really uh, very, very important. And if to make good rye, you have to have the right yeast. Yeah. If you don't yeah, have yeah. the right yeast, you don't get the dill pickles. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. as simple as that, you know? Yeah. 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 And, uh, and that is kind of the, the mark. You can get ninety nine percent of the way there, but without the the right yeast, you won't get the you won't mm-hmm. get the last little bit. Yeah, yeah. So yeast is yeast is huge. Yeah.